guys, Ralph here, and welcome to True Power Trumpet Fitness on this thrilling Thursday here in Connecticut. Life's good, guys. Life is good. You saw the thumbnail, barely holding a horn. And there is good points to that and stuff you want to stay away from. All right? Now, let me honk a few notes before we get to it. I played a lot today. I played about two hours, and... Uh, that's a lot for me, guys, especially these last couple of weeks with the dentist stuff and everything, which is all done. <laughs> I don't have to go see him again for six months. Life's good. All right. I played a lot. Let's see if I've got anything left, and we'll uh, talk about barely holding the horn. Chromatic double C's barely holding the horn. Life's good, guys. You drinking your juice? Are you? Some of you are. Anyway. Yeah, barely holding the horn. Now, I first came, became very, very enamored with that when I first saw Maynard's band. Again, 19-year-old Lynn Nicholson was playing lead and just tearing it up that night. Just tearing it up that night. And it can be a little misleading, but look at the pictures. It looks like he is barely holding the horn. If you look at his left hand. Now, he doesn't use that much relative to what he's doing. It's not like, uh, I mean, he's above double. It's not like he's doing, you know what I mean? It's not like he's doing just, you know, Arbin. But relative to what he's doing, he doesn't use that much pressure. But take a look at his right hand and look at that pinky locked into that um, pinky ring. He's using some pressure, guys. He's using some pressure. There's no question about it. But anyway, that's not the point. Barely holding the horn. Now, I was talking with one of my students the other day, as I told you. And he says, you know, he's been studying with me for several months, an older gentleman. And he... Um, all of a sudden, things start taking shape. Things that I said, you know, on the videos and, you know, the first couple lessons, you know, it's made, now all of a sudden the light bulb goes on. Ah, so that's what he's talking about. And he says, there's no question about it, not in the extreme registers of his. And he's got a nice, pretty, uh, pretty decent high F. He says, but in the middle register, we're doing Clark and everything, ba da 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 da. He says, I get it. I'm barely holding the horn. He says, the notes seem so close together. It's like all I'm doing is moving my fingers. That's it. And if you get that up an octave, you got it. And if you can do it down the octave, which is his happy zone, all you do is thicken the tongue and the upper octave comes right out. Now, here's the deal. I told you there's good and bad. Not barely holding the horn and not using a lot of lip pressure is the result of good, proper fundamentals, true power fundamentals. That is what you get the result. Guys, you that's another thing that I'm talking about. Like you don't think about your diaphragm, you don't think, it, you do not think about that while you're practicing. That has nothing to do, nothing to do with it. You're using too much pressure when your lips hurt. That's it. You're using too much pressure if you are stiff and sore and stiff as a board every morning the next, and it takes you a long time to warm up. Other than that, don't even think. Every once in a while, it just seems so incredibly easy that I say, yeah, I'm barely holding the horn. But guys, that is the result of relaxed corner, tongue placement, and lack of air, and that, and that only, 
is what you should be thinking about when you are practicing. Not all this Arnold Jacobs garbage, gobbledygook about this, that, and the other thing. You know, wedge breathing and everything, it's fine. It's fine, as I said, with that Bobby Shoe thing. There's a couple things that I would discuss with him that I didn't think were completely right. But I wouldn't even bother because that has nothing to do with it. And the amount of pressure you're using is long. The tone will tell you. The tone will tell you. When your tone is full, brilliant, centered, you're playing correctly. Once you get up above your, up to above your happy zone, it will start getting strained and tight and everything. And that is when you start using the pressure. Ooh, surprise, surprise. You've lost your grip. All right? I could do that hours and I don't even, I don't have perfect pitch. I don't know what notes they are. I could do that for hours and hours and hours. Literally. With no pressure at all. Barely holding the horn. Now, I talked about this. There is some pressure. It's very, very light, very gentle. Very, very light, very gentle. But there is some, and that holds, helps hold. I use it a crutch. That is what helps hold the chops together, the vibrating position. Now, once again, if you see Lynn Nicholson with his rim, just the rim, Guys, he's using pressure. <laughs> he's using pressure. But you hear the results he gets. Okay? That's not what you should be thinking about. If it starts getting detrimental, your chops hurt, they're sore, they're stiff, you can't play soft. Then, you, But until then, this is all you are thinking about. And even then, when you think you're using too much pressure, to get rid of the pressure... You're not thinking about your left hand. You're thinking about the corners, the tongue, and the air. Okay? The great fundamentals give you less and less pressure. It's as simple as that. All right? Barely holding the horn. I'm sure all of you have had that sensation at some point. Guys, when you get it up to double C, the trumpet world is yours, Chico, and everything in it. All right? All right. Love you all. We'll talk again.